In this lab, we will be extracting DNA from wheat germ, the embryonic plant attached to the wheat seed. Individual wheat seeds or kernels separate readily from the plant. These kernels have a tough outer coating called bran. Bran is used in baked goods like bran muffins. During processing into flour, the bran is removed, exposing the endosperm. The endosperm is the main part of the kernel and is ground to produce white flour. Attached to the endosperm, we find a small embryonic plant. This is the wheat germ. We will be extracting DNA from these tiny embryos. Wheat germ can be purchased from grocery stores as dried brown flakes. Make sure you purchase natural wheat germ that has not been subjected to high temperatures or other processing. Start the process by weighing out 30 grams of dried wheat germ. Next, heat 250 milliliters of water to 45 degrees Celsius. Next, add 8 milliliters of sodium chloride, table salt, to the water. Add the salt water to the wheat germ. Blend this mixture for 15 seconds. Blending separates and disrupts the plant cells releasing organelles, including nuclei, into the solution. A microscopic inspection of our solution at this moment would show a liquid mixture of plant debris and organelles. Filtering this mixture removes the largest pieces of plant debris, but allows the nuclei with their chromosomes to pass through. At this point, we gently stir three or four drops of liquid soap into the mixture. Stir gently. DNA is being released. The wall of the nucleus is constructed from lipids, or fats. Soap disrupts this nuclear membrane and releases the chromosomes. In this animation, soap disrupts the nuclear membrane, releasing the chromosomes. The final chemical interaction in this process comes from the salt we added at the beginning. Salt is sodium chloride, a molecule made from a sodium atom joined to a chlorine atom. Na and Cl are the chemical symbols for sodium and chlorine. When dissolved in water, the sodium and chlorine atoms separate and become electrically charged particles, ions, Na plus and Cl minus. The chromosomes are constructed from tightly wound DNA. The sodium chloride ions interact with the DNA, causing it to relax and unwind into long strands floating in solution. The strands of DNA are now exposed, but they are mixed thoroughly into the solution. We will take advantage of differences in density and solubility to separate the DNA from this mixture. Gently transfer some of this solution into a test tube. Isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, is less dense than water and it does not dissolve DNA. Carefully adding isopropyl alcohol to the solution causes the DNA to separate out. 
floating as a clear membrane into the pool of alcohol suspended on top. The clear membrane visible here in the alcohol is DNA. Spool the DNA onto a long toothpick. This is DNA extracted from wheat germ. This completes the DNA extraction lab. If you're interested in going further with this project, you'll have to learn about gel electrophoresis. This process requires some sophisticated lab equipment, but it is possible to make your own. Google